I'm Andy Dick, and this is Kathy Griffin. You guys. Should we start over? No, 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 we can't. What do you mean? We don't have time. What? I apologize. I know, I know, I know. Andy! But I wanted to ask you, Kathy. What is going on? What is happening with oh, your... Oh, you know what? This is uh, so typical. I apologize. Where is the Whoa! furniture? Oh, for God's sake. Are you... That's fine. Are you all right? I'm fine. And you know what? I hope you're not. Here. Because you, you took your time. You better take... me to come on the show. Take a quick God only knows who canceled for you to what? call me Oh, and... right. Hey. Because those are rentals, actually. <laughs> what are these for? Why do I need... What's up? Because I... <sighs> this is not working, actually. I don't... Let's just... Can no. we... We should go take well, a tour. Well, thanks for my interview about my career, Andy. Fine. Everybody let's take wants a to tour know. of There's the backstage. There's a lot of heat on me. First of all, how is everything at MTV? <laughs> hang on, hang on a second. Herman, stop it. Just concentrate on the bottoms. That's where the real gross stuff is anyway. Right. Anyways. What? How? How can they go from great to terrible? They never were great. Okay, that's news to me. You don't have to yell. I'm hanging up now. <sighs> Herman, stop it. Did you hear that? The ratings are down. And? And what are you gonna do about it? I'm Andy Dick, and I've got a show, and it's really funny, or so I've been told. Whoa! Andy, hi! How are you holding up? Not too good. Great. Not I'll see good. you in like three hours. No, not good, though. Yeah. Sir, watch the Andy yeah. Dick show. Oh. Hi! I'm Andy Dick. Watch my show. Oh, Andy. I'm so hot. I'm so hot. What are you doing? Everyone watch the no, Andy Dick show. No, no, no. I drove by five times and I couldn't even hear you. But I think your windows were rolled up, Andy. Yeah, I know. That doesn't matter. Everybody's windows are rolled up. It's 110 out. Are you wearing the protective liner? Yeah, I wanted to ask you, is this absolutely necessary? Yes, because it is. I don't want just... you to stain the suit. This thing cost a lot to make. Okay. There well, you go. Yeah, Damn it. So... Just do it louder. Watch the Andy Dick show and do a dance. Okay. Watch the Andy Dick show. Watch the Andy Dick show. Hey, cool dude. Berman, hey, go Andy. ahead, wet your whistle. Hey, you dropped it, Andy. My name is Andy Dick. Hey, man. What is it? Ooh. This is the Andy Dick yeah, show. Andy Dick right no, here. Hey, you got to go over there. Hey, tell me what to do, okay? Hey, this is Andy Dick. You know who Andy Dick is? I'll kill you. Go! Watch the Andy Dick Show! Watch the Andy Dick! Andy Dick Show! Andy! Oh my god! Andy! Come on, Andy. Berman, get up! No napping until the no, rains are no, up. No, it's not a nap, Andy. It's just a little touch of heat stroke. You're gonna have unemployment stroke if you don't get your fat ass up! Okay, get up! I'm this junk. Thanks a lot, Berman! Did I mention I know Andy Dick? You should really watch his show. It's me, Lyle Tillman, with a new book you can't afford not to own. Lyle Tillman's Guide to Living in Los Angeles for free! Come on! It's free! Come on! People come to L.A. from all over the country with big dreams and little money. With my new book, I'll teach you how to live those champagne dreams, even if you have a malt liquor budget. Oh! Here, let me help you clean up here. Let me help you clean up. There you go. This burrito may be half eaten, but it's a full meal to me. Free! My book also includes dirt. Just put some sugar on it and bottoms off. Sterno for sex, the bar system of the street people. Sewer alligators, the other, other white meat. Donate your blood, there's loose change in your veins. All this and more for free. Homeless people, your new best friends. Free. Don't do that. Free. 
There's plenty of jobs on the streets. Hey, do you party? Page 69, get it? Free! Hi, officers. Free! Hey, mind if I get a ride? Step away from the car, free. A shopping cart. The frugal man's skateboard. Free! Dumpsters. LA's free cafeterias. Table for one, please. Ah! Oh! It's all in my new book. Order today! Oh, look, my ride is here. And guess what the price is? Coming up next. You're on the set of my new music video, which I wrote. And of course, I'm also directing. Let's just meet the friendly backstage crew. Hey, can you turn on the backstage lights? I gotta... Hey, buddy. Hey, Tom. My name's Will. We Thanks. don't We don't need these, I guess. Do this you want to know the projects I'm working on, Andy? Not really. I thought... Let's go this way. I was supposed to... Whoa, watch the cord. Oh, God. Okay, this is the snack room. And he, this is uh, Consuela. Anna. Okay. Usted nunca me ha hablado a mí. Váyase, por favor, y sí, maldito payaso feo. Sí, sí, but remember, not too caliente. Okay, let's don't go. Don't push me. Okay, okay you fine. have pushed me enough. Mm, brownie, here, have a brownie. No, I don't think so. Hi, I'm Mackenzie Shima, and this is my band, Tim Lee and Rimley. It's Tweedledee and Tweedledip. And you're on the set of my new music video, Can You See My Heart? which I wrote, and of course, I'm also directing. Not being able to see might be considered a, a weakness when it comes to directing. MTV and I have a love-hate relationship. I love them. They hate me. I would consider him to have a superpower. Andy capable, superpowered. That's the uh, proper term for it, right? I mean, I've directed six videos for them, and they've yet to play any of them. I do hope it has nothing to do with the fact that I lost both pupils to a couple of rabid weasels, because I'd hate to have to bring in lawyers, sue the pants off them. Right, Tim Lee and Rimley? Um, rabid weasels. I'm talking about MTV, not the weasels. It can't sue the weasels. It has nothing to do with Mr. Shima's um, situation. It has everything to do with the fact that his videos are ass crap. Make sure you get close-ups of my baby blues. Now let's roll this monkey. Can you see my heart? I don't know where the English accent comes from because I grew up with him in South Jersey. Maybe it's a blind thing. To cover up the fact that he don't see so good. Because he doesn't see so good. This is the most fun part where we pick out who's going to be the lucky girls to be in my video. No. No, 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 no. Oh, there's a beauty. Bring her in. Let these women hang out in my dressing room. Make sure there's plenty of malt liquor for them. Watch them mix them. Don't drop them. Where are you? Put your face right here. We've tried to explain to Mackenzie that MTV is a visual medium. Music television. Vision is part of the word, not music teleblind. That's not even a real word. Thank you, ladies, for coming in. So why don't you strip down and we'll shoot the video. Visions of me falling apart, staring to the window. Wonderful. I'm getting a little roused by the ladies' breasts. They're very supple. MTV will allow a little breasts, right? Those girls are quiet as church mice. I like that. Oh, I'll have them squealing like little pigs later in my dressing room. Those ladies are quite wonderful. Maybe you can send a few back to my dressing room. Ripley Nipley, could you guys help Mackenzie out, please? The names are Timley and Rimley. Put both your faces right here. That's going to teach both of you to step in line. This is going to be a wonderful video. Where are you, cue card man? Right, 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 right. right. Can you see my heart? Let's roll one. Blare into the windows of my soul. Damn it, damn it, cut, cut. Do you know Braille? No. This is upside down. Where's your hand? Hard. This is hard. And this is your head. OK? Without a doubt, Mr. Shima has great courage. 
But you know, sometimes you can have too much courage and not enough eyesight. Focus on the stars in the sky. Can you see the light in my eye? Oh, well, who is that? Who is that? Oh! Tim Lee! Tim Lee! They're screwing with me! Don't let them screw with me or I'll slap you! Where are you? Who's that? Put your face right here, camera guy. <laughs> So, here we are at the Cannes Film Festival with this uh, new upcoming uh, idiot actor slash director from America, Andy Dick, for his short movie called uh, The Watermelon. Who, who doesn't have change for a dollar. I'm very proud of this Yes, short a very film. long, long title for a very short, short movie, who, by the way, should have been a lot shorter because it's a piece of crap. So, Finzi, c'est de la merde. What did you say? I said it's a, it's a piece of crap. I mean, it's a shame for this industry. Okay, we oui, we. Oui. Why did you do a so bad movie? I'm sorry? Let the film speak for itself. Idiot. of the movie. Yes, so I'm very glad for you. Idiot. There's more ahead on the Andy Dick hey. Show. Hey, what's up? My name's Gypsy Moth Anderson. And I've been living up in this treaty for about three years, protesting logging. You know what the best part about wrapping the show up? Is each, it interviewing your celebrity each friends? Each week? No, Andy, no, no. It's, it's tearing the set. Are we done with this what? set? Well, yeah, but we got to... Okay, then I'll, I'll do it. I'll do well, it. Yeah, no. we've got to yeah, no, Don't worry about it. We'll tear it down. Let's Wait, tear it down. Andy, you're Just rip to do it down. That. No, you can. It's Are you called, sure? Yeah, it's called breaking down the all set. Right, all right, Break it down. Oh, God, I What's your aggressions I'll do it. I do. I have a lot of aggressions, Andy. This is your head. Kathy, look at me. Na -na 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 -na. Andy, that's racist. What the hell are you doing? What? We're striking the set. It's totally his idea. We don't own this set. It's on loan from Children's Hospital. Really? <gasps> Idiot. Andy, those children are sick. They're not as sick as you, you pathetic bastard. <laughs> Well, if they're sick, then they can't get too angry, right? I'll clean it up.
Hello, I'm Andy Dick, and I want to talk to you about a very serious problem. One whose victims have suffered in silence for too long. Well, it's time their voices were heard. Over 30,000 Americans are living with their undergarments hiked halfway up to Omaha. I'm talking about wedgies. Wedgies affect more people than noogies, swirlies, and purple nurples combined. Chances are you know someone who has a wedgie. A friend, a loved one, or maybe even someone you watch on TV. That's right. I, Andrew Dick, have a massive wedgie. Believe me, wedgies hurt. But so does ignorance. And paper cuts actually suck, but you, that's, you do that to yourself. So please call and find out how you can help prevent wedgies, because together they are one problem we can crack. Or I should say remove from my crack. Actually, Berman, could you help me here? Can you please remove this from my crack? I'm, I'm tasting cotton here. Damn it! Please, 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 please don't cut down the trees. Please, 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 please don't cut down the trees. Oh, damn it. Hey, dude, my name's Gypsy Moth Anderson. And I've been living up in this tree for about three years, protesting logging. Listen up, logging companies! If you're gonna cut down this tree, then you're gonna have to go ahead and cut down this... me! Brent, I want you to come down from the tree. Not until there's justice for the trees! And Dad, you're supposed to call me Gypsy Moth. Come on. It's an important cause, and I really respect what he's doing. I mean, hey love trees, but I don't think that particular tree is in danger at all. Where I'm coming from is I feel that my belief is that the logging companies are pretty much mortgaging our children's future. By that, what I mean is that, well, I don't really know much about mortgaging and mortgages or whatever, but that's just because I live in a tree. <laughs> Son, your name is Brent. You're not a gypsy moth. Please come down from the tree. My name is Gypsy Moth Anderson. <laughs> trees are people too, dude. Trees are not people, son. Trees are trees. People are people. You're not going to cut this tree down. Brent, I own this tree. This is our yard. No one's going to cut it down. Now get down from this tree right now. I speak for the tree, OK? Because the tree doesn't have lips. Duh. I've had about enough of your crap. You've been on that tree for three years. You're not my son. You get your ass out of that tree, you little bastard. Hey, kids, no logging. Ow. No. What are you? Dude, dude, I'm serious, dude. Uh, Dad. Ow. I'm not the enemy logging companies are. I've given this tree a name, Starflower Utopia Love Child. Let's just say we're like best friends with benefits. I honestly don't know if I'll ever come down, dude, because I'm with Mother Nature up here, and I got the power of this big... Whoa! Ah! It took me a long time to figure out what my next cause was going to be. And I think this one's going to really make a statement. I'm going to submerse myself in this vat of toxic waste until corporate America decides to stop polluting our oceans. Stop polluting our oceans, corporate America. Oh, it burns. Don't cut down the trees. Don't cut down the trees, please. Please. <laughs> Okay, everybody gather up. Come on. Gather around, everybody. Let's do our post-show prayer. Dear God, thank you for another funny episode. I'm sorry, Andy. What? Uh, we're a little short. Who is? The show. Well, whose fault is that? We're short about a minute. Yeah, so if you could just run around, make some funny faces, or do whatever you do, and then we could all get out of here. What? Okay? Let's do it. Funny faces? Is that what I am? I'm an actor. If the show's short, why don't you fill it in? I am not a monkey. Okay, here to dance around for your pleasure. Show's short, bull****.
Why don't I just do a little trip on this and fall and break my neck? Is that what you want? Funny little monkey. <laughs> oh, look, a banana. Let me peel that off and eat it. And now I'm going to crap it out. <laughs> what am I doing now? Huh? I'm throwing my crap at you. Does that fill a minute in for you? And we're out. That's perfect. What? Time's out perfect. Great. Very funny, Andy. OK. Oh. No, because I, I, I could do it again, actually. If it, Hello? OK, well, uh, good night. I could do it like with more, you know, like more monkey. I, I was, I was, that was like a rehearsal. Should I do it again? Should I do it again, dude? <laughs> Next Mom. week on The Andy Dick Show. Mom, Dad, is it okay if I summon the devil to help clean my room? Oh, Manson. Manson. Why are you so stupid? Hey! Wow! Jacket. Yeah, but that is. Well, you guys. Oh, there you go. I don't think you'll get to the top of the cross. Not bad, not bad. I like this stuff. How much is this? I'll take two. I want. Why are you so stupid? Uh -huh.